everybody. Infinite love and gratitude. Dr. Darren here and welcome to our two minute lifeline. Our question for this week is why are symptoms of your body, why are stress of life gifts? Gifts in strange wrapping paper. And the reason is, is that symptoms are a conversation. They're a dialogue. Now the dialogue is different than the conversation that you and I are having right now. This dialogue is coming from below the surface. So if you scan your body right now and you just acknowledge the symptoms of your body, whether let's say your body speaks to you with headaches or pain, let's say you've got immune challenges, autoimmune, cancer, let's say as far as the stress level goes that you're filled with anxiety or guilt or shame or depression. Would you ever choose it? Would you ever, does anybody ever choose cancer? Do people choose allergies? Do people choose to be addicts? The answer is hell no. Nobody chooses it, but people experience it. And what we know is when something's not a choice, it's not conscious. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that there's something below the surface. It's subconscious, like a submarine. Nobody knows where the submarine is unless it surfaces or unless it shoots a torpedo. And so the torpedo or the surfacing of the subconscious is the symptoms of our body. It's just the tip of the iceberg. There's no choice. There's no judgment. The subconscious represents the reactive memories, emotions, and environments that are still living in us and that when they get triggered, we react as if those particular memories are going on for the first time again and again and again because our brains and our bodies do not know the difference between a memory, reality, or imagination. It's so fascinating because when that gets triggered, our heart rate starts to beat really fast, our immune system shuts down because it's adapting to another time and place rather than here and now, it's there and then. The portal of possibilities of activating your body's natural ability to heal and your ability to be whole is First and foremost, looking at your body and your life, the symptoms, the pain, the stress, as a conversation, a gift in strange wrapping paper, there to help you grow, there to help you learn, there to help you raise your consciousness and thus influence and make a difference in the world that you're a part of. Hey, keep shining bright, infinite love and gratitude. Make sure you leave your questions and your comments below. Have an awesome day.